like super close to me because last night I built a bookshelf. It's beautiful. It's over there. You can't see it. I moved my camera and now I just realized it's way too close to my face. But I'm too lazy to move it back, so deal with it. I'm sorry. Get by Lori Gold. Gottlieb. Lieb. Gottlieb. Lieb. 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 It's Jay and today I am here with my March TBR. I don't actually know how much reading I'm going to do since I'm still on concussion leave. I guess we can call it. I'm not allowed to read books still so I've been listening to audiobooks a lot because you know your girl can't just not read. So these books I found on audio so hopefully I will get those done so I at least get something done in March. Maybe I'll be able to read soon. Hopefully. Without further ado, let us get started! So the first book that I'm hoping to read this month is Hereafter by Tara Hudson. I don't know that much about it, but it's been on my shelf for like pretty much two years now. And I know that it's a ghost story. And there's this ghost named Amelia who lives in a lake and then a boy named Joshua comes into this lake and he starts drowning and she decides to save him. And there's a spirit named Eli who apparently doesn't like that they're becoming friends, so he tries to bring Amelia back into the lake, and it's just, it just sounds really weird. I found it on audiobook, so I was like, you know, it's been on my shelf for so long, I might as well try it, at least. So The next book that I'm going to read this March is The Next Time You See Me by Holly Goodard-Jones. I don't know that much about it other than there's a girl named Ronnie who goes missing, and it's about three other people whose stories interlock, in the way that she went missing or something along those lines. I think it's kind of like a Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve idea where all the stories end up folding into one big story at the end. Not 100% sure if that is true. I could be making this up, but I'm not allowed to read it to uh, be able to know if I'm wrong or not. So this is what I'm going off of what I've heard about the book. The next book is Stick Figure by Lori Gottlieb. I'm probably saying that wrong as well. But this is a memoir about a girl who had anorexia and it was set in like 1978. So it's like a long, long time ago. But I'm obsessed with like eating disorder, mental health things, so I found this on my shelf when I was reorganizing it because of my new bookshelf. And I was like, yes, I need to read this. Why did I not know I had this book? So now I'm going to read it. This one's not an audiobook though, so I will probably, maybe, hopefully get to it by the end of March if I'm allowed to read again. The next book is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I don't know that much about this book other than there's a traveling circus that shows up at night. A lot of people on booktube have talked about how amazing this book is and my mom absolutely loved it and it's been on my shelf forever so I was like, you know what is on audiobook? Might as well finally get to it because everybody loves it so maybe I can love it too. We'll see how that goes. The fifth and final book that I'm hoping to get to this month is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Nailed it. I don't really think I need to say much about this book. It just became a movie, so I need to read the book in order to see the movie. Or else I will never read this book. So, it needs to get done, so it's gonna get done this month. Alright guys, so that is my March TBR. I don't know if I'll actually get to any of the reading part of it, but hopefully I listen to them all. We'll see how my concussion recovery works out. I will see all of you lovely lemon drops in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. by Aaron Margaret Stern, a little bit Morgan Stern. I'm probably also saying that one wrong. Morgan Stern. Morgan Stern. Morgan Stern. Yes. Itching my face. That's what we're gonna call it. Yep. Okay. Rick Rancy. Rancy. Rick. Why can I not say Rick Rancy? I keep saying Rick Rancy. It's not his name, Jay. So that I can read the movie. What? <sighs> read the movie. Yep.